This is a 10 minute home chest workout with no equipment. The duration of each exercise is 30 seconds effort and 30 seconds rest. If this is too difficult, please start with 10 seconds effort and 50 seconds rest and build up each time you train. Always start the next exercise in time with the video. If you would like to get a training program, including home workouts or personalized plans, make sure you check out coachrichard.store. Okay, we have 10 seconds until the first exercise, which is going to be push-ups, so let's get ready. Push-ups, turn your elbows into 45 degrees, make sure you're lowering your chest to your hands. You don't want to point your elbows out to the sides, and you don't want to be lowering your shoulders to your hands as I'm showing you now in the video. You want to make sure you bring your hands underneath your shoulders, but lower your chest to your hands. Also, don't let the hips drop and don't let the bum stick up in the air either as I'm showing you in the video right now. Keep everything in a straight line like a plank. Thirty seconds rest. Okay, you have ten seconds until the next exercise. Get ready. This is upper chest push-ups. Okay, this one you're going to be taking your chest down towards your hands again and pushing it away, lifting your hips up in the air into a half pike position. That's how you're going to really activate the upper chest. You don't want to be going down above your hands and pushing in a straight line like a normal push-up. You actually want to push away, so like you're on an incline press. Also, you want to make sure you're not turning your elbows out as I'm showing you in the video right now. Tuck everything in, push away. We have five seconds to go, keep pushing. Rest. Okay, you have 10 seconds left. The next exercise is incline push ups. Okay, at incline push ups, you want to be lowering again your chest down to your hands, pushing away so that your shoulders are directly above your hands. You don't want to be taking your body away as I'm showing you now. Get right up above it. That way, we can get a good squeeze and contraction through the lower chest. Don't let your hips drop down towards the ground. Don't let your bum stick up in the air. Hold that straight plank. We have 10 seconds to go, keep pushing. Chest down to your hands, shoulders up above your hands. Chest down to your hands, shoulders up above your hands. Three, two, one. You have 30 seconds rest. You have 10 seconds, the next exercise is wide plank. Okay, in this exercise you want your hands out to the side in line with the middle of your chest so that you're really contracting and squeezing through the chest. You don't want to put your hands out in front of you as I'm showing you now and you don't want to be in line with your shoulders. You want to make sure it's right out to the side of your chest. Make sure you have a little bend in your arm and then hold the plank, squeezing through the middle of your chest. Make sure you keep your shoulders retracted and back. We have 10 seconds to go. Don't let your hips drop. Don't let your bum stick up in the air. Rest. You have 10 seconds. Next exercise is decline push ups. Get ready. Okay, on this exercise, you want to again lower your chest to your hands and push away. That way, you're going to get a little bit more activation in your upper chest. You can do this exercise lowering down and pushing straight back up. It's a little bit more difficult than a normal push up just because you have more weight across your upper body because your feet are elevated. But I like to do this as a decline push up, lowering the chest down and pushing away because that way you can get some really good activation in the upper chest.
You have 30 seconds left. Okay, you have 10 seconds to go. Next exercise is push up with a twist. Okay, this is a great exercise for getting an extra contraction in each side of the pec. So it's as if you're doing a cable crossover. When you come up, twist and rotate to the side, rotate the shoulders and really squeeze the pec on the side where you're twisting. You don't want to have your hands too wide like I'm showing you on the video right now. If you do that, you cannot get that same contraction in the pec. You want to have a nice close stance and then as you come up and twist, you want to squeeze the pec on the side you're twisting towards. Rest, you have 30 seconds. You have 10 seconds rest. The next exercise is tricep push ups. In this exercise, you want to keep the close stance again. You want to be turning your elbows so they're just outside your ribs, just enough space for you to go down and push back up. You don't want to turn them out as we're showing you the video now. You can't activate your tricep the same way. And this exercise is great because you can really hit the lower chest quite well. So as you push away through the ground, really squeeze and contract the lower chest. You have 10 seconds remaining. Don't stick your bone up in the air. Don't let your hips drop. Keep that straight line plank. Five, four, three, two, one. You have 30 seconds rest. Next exercise is push up plank holds. Okay, we're going back to our standard push up position. We're going to lower halfway down and hold. Now, all the way down and hold. Halfway up, hold. Come up to the top and squeeze your pack and hold. Halfway down, hold. Just off the floor, hold. Push up, hold. To the top hold, last one, halfway down hold, to the bottom hold, and rest. You have 10 seconds remaining. The next exercise is palm pressure. Okay, in this exercise, you wanna have your hands in front of you, not completely straight, a slight bend in your elbows, and you wanna push your hands together as hard as you can. You should be feeling quite a pump down in your chest. You wanna lower your hands right down, and then all the way up just above your face, and then back down, squeezing your pec the whole time. You should be feeling quite a good pump. When you're doing this, you don't want to have your shoulders rounded forwards. You want to make sure your shoulders are pinned back, shoulders retracted. 30 seconds rest. You have 10 seconds, you've done really well today. Last exercise is push-ups to failure. As many push-ups as you can. Let's go, let's see how many you can get at the end of the session. Make sure you're holding that good form in the plank position. Don't let your hips stick up in the air or the hips drop towards the ground. Keep pushing, you have 10 seconds. Three, two, 
one. Well done guys, session done. I'll see you guys soon.